In today's video, I will tell you about the new routing panel on the example of a new plugin. The panel has three sections, input routing, equalizer selection, and channel selection for each EQ. With each of the four equalizer, we can independently process one or more channel. This will be useful for multi-channel tracks, but it will also work well in two-channel tracks. Now we will look at several examples of processing a stereo track. By default, we have the stereo input routing mode selected. This is what we need, so we we'll leave this parameter unchanged. With the first equalizer, we will process only the left channel. For the second EQ, we'll copy the parameter from the first and select the right channel. Now we can process the left and right channel independently of each other. Let's say you want to combine a stereo drum recording with a stereo acoustic guitar recording. By using independent left-right channel EQing, it is possible to balance these elements so that they do not fight with each other. For the third EQ, we'll select mid-mode. For the fourth, choose side. Mid-side EQ is perhaps most commonly used to bring some stereo element further up within the mix, either by cutting certain frequencies in the mid-channel, or boosting the wanted frequency range in the side-channel. As a result, in one plugin, we process the signal in two different ways. We can also process the signal in a different way. For example, the first two equalizer will be left unchanged. To adjust the balance between the right and the left signal. And the third will process the left and right channel at the same time. The fourth EQ will clear the mid component of the signal. Now consider the processing of a multi-channel track. We select the appropriate mode the same as indicated on the track of the DAW. In our case, this is mode 714. As we select the necessary channel for processing for each of the equalizers, there can be many options, so I will only show how it works. Thank you for watching.